gather as one man. It's time to dream again. We are going further. Hi, I'm Migs. Hi, I'm Ariad. Hello, I'm Maybelline. Hi, I'm Jess. And Angelo. And we are from the J Club Ministry. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> parang may calling nun. Tapos sabi ni ate na kung gusto ko daw ba sumali sa JT of Ignite. Sabi ko, sige ate, kasi pinag-prepare ko din kung ano ba yung purpose ko, ano ba yung calling ko. Tapos yun, I became part of JT of Midis China. Wow, It's naman. such a privilege Dabi talaga. Di ba ate? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> si ate Joan, bigla kong tinap. Yed, can you help us with the live segment of J12? We need tech and wala kaming ibang matap. Nung nag ako, tuloy-tuloy na yun every live ng J12, ako yung nag-detect. And may time na sinabi ni Ate Jo, Yed, ikaw naman mag-ano, try mo naman maging speaker, maging guest. Ay, ano ba natin yun? Na-pressured yun. Na-pressured ako and nung time na yun talaga, uh, Iniisip ko kung mag yes ba ako, kaya ko ba ito, kakayanin ko bang magsalita. Thankfully, the Lord gave me the courage and the strength to say yes. And ayun, ayun nakasabay ko na actually si Miguel. Nag-insabay kami na OJT Core. And ginabayan talaga kami nila Ate Joan. Tapos ngayon, ayun, J12 Core na kami ni Miguel. Now, uh, totoo po yung sinabi niya Ate, eh. nag-start po yung pambira sa pandemya. Uh, na-open ni Kuya Josh yung opportunity na teaching clinic. And blessing ni Lord, no? Na, di mo akalain na sa pandemya ka pa magiging isang leader. Amen. And now we are part of the J12 core and we, uh, I'm more than thankful and si Ate din na kami ay makapag-serve sa mga kabataan. Nagkaroon ng teaching clinic, nagkaroon ng J12 Ignite, J12 Explode, doon po na-build yung confidence ko na magturo. Doon ko din na-build yung trust kay Lord. Malaking impact yung J12 sa buhay ko kasi naging better talaga ako. Better version of myself. Kasi ano din eh, nakikita din ng ibang tao yun sa akin na nagugulat sila, ha? Si Maria, yun sa salita. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, ako naman, parang buhay ko dati. Ay, buhay ko ay parang pizza. Wow! Ganyan, ganyan. Um, nung before, before akong, ano, wala pa akong ministry, Zimbabwe lang ako, ganito lang ako. Just plain. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> plain <laughs> lang. So, as in, walang nangyari. Basta plain lang. Boring, yan. Pero nung, nung nagka, nung nagka j nagka j kung naging part na ako sa j ganito na buhay ko. Uh -huh. Colorful, maraming ganap. Flavorful. Maram, yes, flavorful. Grabe. The world cannot satisfy. Only God can satisfy. And I hope na magpatuloy lang po kayo na mag-go dun sa mga calling na kinol kayo ni Lord. Kasi it's really a privilege. For those future leaders of J12, kaya natin to. And I believe, no, I believe na unang naniwala sa'yo si Lord. Kung nag-worry kayo na baka hindi nyo kakayanin, ganun din naman ako. Dumating sa point na nag-worry din ako. Pero, look at look at us now, di ba? Nagpapatuloy yes. pa din. For the aspiring leaders of J12, gusto ko lang ibigay tong verse na to. Ito din yung pinanghawakan ko as I enter J2. Kasi ito yung in-remind sa amin ni Ate Jokan. Yung verse na Isaiah 41 verse 10. Yung pinakalain lang na sinabi niya sa amin dun. So do not fear for I am with you. Huwag tayong matakot kasi si Lord yung magbibigay sa atin ng confidence, ng strength. Nakakapagod pero at the end of the day, yung pagod na yun is happy pagod. And I'm so blessed to be part of this ministry. Kasi kahit na sobrang pressure, shout out sa Ate Faith. <laughs> sobrang pressured ka sa mga nangyayari. Madami akong napagdaan ng iyak. Madami akong nailabas na luha dito. But then, all those tears are worth it. So I hope 
na sa mga aspiring leaders, you continue and huwag kayong matakot kasi kasama natin si Lord. Sample niya nag-iya. Sample niya. Kaya naman, sa 12 to 15 years old out there, we are inviting you sa ating J12 Fellowships every Sunday from 7.30am to 7.30pm. Uh, kasama po natin ang mga taga J12 now from Silang, Gentry, and Jabez. So kaya naman, See you J12 fam! family, welcome home! And binabati po namin ng Happy Father's Day ang lahat ng daddy, papa, itay, tatay, at bawat haligi ng tahanan. So this is your sign to greet your fathers a Happy Father's Day! And this is your sign na i-invite na rin ng your friends and family to join us for our online worship service. But before that, allow me to lead you in this prayer so that we can welcome God's presence as we praise and worship Him. Let's pray! Dear God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for this day, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God, for your blessings, Lord God, for your favor, Lord God, upon our lives. Lord, we want to invite your presence, Lord God, as we uh, ask for your presence, Lord God, during praise and worship, Panginoon. Lord, may you guide the team, Panginoon, Lord God, as they usher us, Lord God, into uh, your presence, Panginoon. Lord, nawa po, Lord God, maramdaman ka po namin, Lord God, sa sanctuaryo, Panginoon, Lord God, even, Lord God, sa mga aming tagapanood, Panginoon, Lord. Uh, hiyaan nyo, Lord God, ng iyong mga salita, Lord God. Uh, maitago namin to sa aming puso't isipan, Panginoon, Lord God. And Lord, hiyaan nyo, Lord God, na mabago kami, Lord God, ng iyong salita. Lord, do bless your preacher, Panginoon. Do bless the worship team, Panginoon. And everyone, Lord God, na nanonood po sa amin, Lord God, today. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, and we claim the victory in this we pray. In Jesus Christ's mightiest name, Amen. And guys, we are so grateful that you tune in today. Kaya stay with us the whole service dahil we still have a few announcements after the service. See you later!
Oh, you are good. You are good. Pwede po ba yung mas malakas ng papuri kung paan sa Panginoon? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are good. You are good, Panginoon. At hindi kami mapapagod, Lord God, na isigaw that you are good in every season of our lives, Panginoon. You are good. And this is your promise. In Psalms 34, it says that taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is good, amen? Amen. Come on, give the Lord the best praise. And blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. Fear the Lord, you His holy people. For those who fear Him lack nothing. For the lions may grow weak and hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Amen. 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 Kapatid, you lack no good thing. Because we serve and worship a good, good Father in heaven. And He is here today. He is here today. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Nisi, our victory. For those to love Him. And Lord God, here we are. We worship You in spirit and in truth, God. For we believe that You are good. You are good, good Father. And You hold everything in Your hands today, God.
so unexplainable lie I can hardly think as you call me Deeper still as you call me Your faithfulness 
you have felt God's presence today? Can we give Him the best praise that He deserves? Hallelujah. Oh God, you are here. You are here. And we honor you, Pangalor. You are worthy, worthy of all the honor and all the praises. Glory in His holy name, Jesus. And let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek His face always. In the presence of the Lord is here today. So receive your strength. Receive your joy. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. For the Lord is here today. The Lord of hosts is here today. Oh God, we worship you. And we honor you. God, all that we pray, God, stay in our midst. We just want more of you today, Panginoon. Your people need you, Panginoon. Your people want you today. So open up the heavens, Lord God, and pour out, Lord God, your anointing towards your speaker and your word today. And just allow us, Lord God, to have open heart and open mind towards your word, God. Again, God, we love you. We bring you back all the glory and all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray, everybody say, Amen. And God bless you. The only place where we can be our true selves is in the presence of God. Come as you are this Tuesday for another holy encounter at Revival Night. See you there at 7 p.m. Tune in this Wednesday naman to hear the heart for outreach of Pastora Mel Paris sa episode 4 ng Heart to Find only at The Hub, the home you belong. And yes, you can still fill up hope boxes and reach on to the hopeless. Be part of the WayJ mission by visiting the WayJ booth or by messaging their Facebook page. Shout out to all the men of God. Join the Men's Regional Conference happening on July 2 here at COD Dasma. Visit the Men's Facebook page for more details. To all the leaders who just completed the Leaders Attract Menti program, congratulations to us. Let us continue to grow into leadership and to champion God's calling. We will gather as one man. It's time to dream again. We are going further. Now, Please don't forget to switch your phones to silent mode and turn off your flash when taking photos during the service. We hope your hearts are now ready to receive God's Word. This is Rachel saying God bless and enjoy the service! What a joy to be in the house of the Lord! Amen po ba yun? Ayan, so mukha excited ang bawat isa to be here in the house of God and to be able to hear His wonderful message for all of us. Again, excited ba ang bawat isa? Amen. At uh, alam nyo, I am so excited as well to share the Word of God for all of us. And allow me to ask you first a question. Okay lang po ba yun? Every time that we hear the word Everest, what comes first to our mind? Oh, my coach, <laughs> diba? Uh, so, for some of us, maybe this is the highest, uh, you know, uh, dream that we can ever have or greatest challenge, maybe. The Mount Everest can, uh, Everest uh, can symbolize also yung Mount Everest itself, no? Na pwedeng greatest challenge, pwedeng, uh, you know, greatest uh, dream mo sa buhay. At, uh, Alam niyo po ba, sino dito yung uh, naka, kumbaga it cross your mind. You want to climb the Mount Everest. Pwede ba itas yung kamay? Wow, marami. <laughs> Sige, palakpaka natin si Lord. Nakita ko mga kamay niyo ha. <laughs> At alam niyo po ba, may sekreto ako. Okay lang po bang i-share? Huwag niyong sasabihin sa iba. <laughs> I also dreamed of one day maakit ang Mount Everest. Pero sa ko, Lord, sa kalooban mo, uh, if it is your will, Lord, allow me to climb it. But alam niyo po ang inyong pastora na akit ko na ang second highest peak dito sa Pilipinas. 
At uh, since magpo-further po tayo, uh, one time uh, uh, na rinig ko po ng ating uh, senior pastor, gusto rin daw maakit ang Mount Apo, the highest peak in the Philippines. Pero medyo, uh, you know, risky kaya hindi po tayo uh, matutuloy doon. So uh, yung wage as we will relaunch the ahon, plinag ko pa eh, no? Uh, meron po tayong mga aakitin muling mga bundok. for a cause, di ba? At alam niyo po, ako din, sabi ko nga, Lord, since hindi ko magagawa itong Mount uh, Everest na maakyat, ayan, so let me just, Lord, uh, mangarap na lang ako, dalin ko tong pag-akyat sa Mount Everest, spiritually speaking. Ayan. Gusto niyo rin po ba na doon na lang natin siya gawin. Uh, gawin natin pangarap, spiritually speaking. No? At alam niyo po ba, wonderfully, this mountain, nakakatuwa, no? uh, kung ilang, ano to, ilang feet, it's 29,031.7 feet. Ganun siya kataas. At uh, 4,000 na tao pa lang ang nakakaakit nito. At isa sa mga Filipinos, di ba, na umakit dito ay walang iba kundi si uh, Garduse, no? So talaga ang mga Pinoy magagaling din. Amen ba yun? Kahit ang pinakamataas na bundok, kayang akitin. <laughs> Amen po ba yun? At ngayong hapon, ito po yung nilagay ni Lord sa heart ko, the Everest of Christ. Ito po yung ating topic. At anong ibig sabihin ng Everest? When we talk about uh, Everest, it uh, talks about the highest peak. Yan nga yung sinasabi ko. At sa Bible din, meron ditong highest exaltation about the Lord Jesus Christ. So ito yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayong hapon. And allow me to read the word of the Lord for us in Colossians 1.15. to 20. So it says here, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by Him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities All things were created through Him and for Him. And He is before all things. And in Him, all things hold together. And He is the head of the body, the church, which we belong. Amen po ba yun? Ito yung body ni Lord. He is the big. Beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. Ibig sabihin, kitang-kita, obvious, nakikita si Lord in all things, in everything. Amen po ba yun? Kaya pakilingon mo nga, pakisulyapan yung katabi. Kitang-kita ba si Lord sa kanya? Uh, di ba? Kitang kita ba? So let me continue. Sabi dito, for him, all the fullness of God was pleased to do well. So meaning to say, nag-meeting po ang ating Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, nag-meeting sila. Kanino natin ipagkakatiwala yung fullness of God? At sa pag-meeting nila, they've agreed. The fullness of God was pleased to dwell in Jesus Christ. Ganito po ka, ganda po itong word ni Lord na pinag-aaralan natin. And through Him, through the Lord Jesus Christ, to reconcile to Himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of His cross. Purihin po natin ang Panginoon sa pagkabasa ng Kanyang mga salita. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And can I invite you for a word of prayer, Father? Thank you. Indeed, your words are powerful, O oh God. Your words are alive and effective, Father. Lord, today, we continue to invite your Holy Spirit, Father, to be our ultimate teacher. Continue to change us, O oh God, 
from inside and out, O oh God. Lord, we thank you. We honor you in this place. And this all we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, Amen and Amen. Sige po, muli natin palakpakan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So as mentioned, ito po yung pinakamataas, pinakamajestic na description about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. At para po, magkaroon lang po tayo ng uh, clarity sa ating pag-aaralan ngayong hapon. Allow me to give you a big picture of this uh, particular uh, verse na binasa natin. So dito, binabanggit that Christ is supreme in creation. Amen po ba yun? And Christ is supreme in church. You belong to a church. Amen po ba yun? Kaya kapatid, no, na hindi lang ito uh, simpleng, uh, you know, you belong to a body of Christ. Hindi lang siya simpleng journey. It's an important journey in our life. Amen po ba yun? So here, Apostle Paul, he wrote his letter to this uh, community, a church in Colossae. Ito po yung background ng text na binasa natin. He wrote this uh, verse in the community in Colossae or church in Colossae dahil during that time, this particular church is experiencing a threat, experiencing, uh, you know, they have been so afraid at uh, binabawasan yung pagkadyos ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nababawasan the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sinasabi sa kanila, ang Diyos nyo ay kapantay lang siya ng anghel. So, ganun po yung challenge sa faith ng mga tao dito sa Colossae. Ganun ka tindi. Their church was also under attack during that time. Kaya nga naman, uh, Paul, uh, again, kailangan niyang i-remind sa kanila na no, there is supremacy. Jesus has supremacy over His creation. Kasi bago silang, alam mo yun, yung mga nananampalataya sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, nakita pa nila how the Lord Jesus Christ ascended to heaven. Tapos here they are being persecuted about their faith. Kaya nga naman, sabi ni Paul, hindi, kailangan yung tayuan ang pananampalataya nyo. And you know, the word of the Lord in uh, Colossians 1.13, sabi dito, before... You know, bago natin binasa yung 15 to 20, sabi dito, He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of His beloved Son. Amen po ba yun? So from kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, yan po ang kinabibilangan ng bawat isa sa atin ngayon, kapatid. Amen po ba yun? Kaya walang persecution ang dapat, uh, you know, i-entertain ng mga anak ng Diyos. Dapat tuloy-tuloy lang tayo sa ating pananampalataya. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palapakan natin ang Panginoon. That's why when Apostle said that Christ is God, Ito po yung anchor ng pananampalataya natin. The church in Colossae nagdwindle ang kanilang pananampalataya dahil na-challenge ng mga false teachers yung kanilang faith. Sabi nila ang Panginoon ay hindi naman talaga Diyos yan, di ba? Kapantay lang ng anghel. Kaya kailangan nating laging balikan ang salita ng Panginoon. Sabi sa Colossians 1.15, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Na from the beginning, the Lord would want all the people to worship Him. But the deception of the enemy, eto, pumasok sa iba't ibang grupo ng mga tao. Different people groups, they worship different gods. They do not worship Jesus Christ. They even worship uh, yung mga images. But the word of the Lord says, it's Jesus Christ is the exact image of God the Father. Pero again, deception na entertain ng napakaraming tao. Kaya ito, they worship all other things except Jesus Christ. In uh, India, the Hindus are worshiping thousand gods. 
more than 1,000 gods. They are worshiping yung mga insecto, ipis, daga. Unimaginable, pero they worship it. Except Jesus Christ. They do not worship Jesus. Yung mga, yung mga other people groups na sobrang sisipag mag-share ng kanilang faith. Pero their faith does not include faith in the Lord Jesus. Pero kapatid, tayo, napaka-bless natin. Amen po ba yun? Dahil sa Pilipinas, we can freely worship the Lord 24-7. Walang magbabawal sa atin. Amen po ba yun? Sige po palagpakan natin ang Panginoon. Sa ibang mga bansa, bawal ang ganitong mga gathering. But God allowed us here in the Philippines to do it. Kaya napaka-bless po natin. Pakisabihan yung katabi natin, you are blessed, kapatid. Amen ba yun? Pakiremind ka natin that we are blessed. At this afternoon, ito yung another paalala. Aside from Christ is God, Jesus Christ is before all things. He was, sabi nga sa word ni Lord, He was in the beginning. Beginning with God. Ito, china-challenge uli sila dito na paano siya na andito from the beginning? Wala tayo ibang isasagot kapatid kundi ang salita ng Panginoon. In John 1-2, ito po yung sinasabi. At uh, Hebrews 1-3, this is a parallel verse of the uh, you know, verse that we read kanina sa Colossians 1-15-20. Sabi dito, He is the radiance of the glory of God. God. At ito yung word, exact imprint of His nature. Kaya nga, di ba sabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, sa, sabi niya sa kanyang mga disciples, nung ang disciples niya ay uh, tinatanong siya, Jesus, uh, prophet or teacher, show us uh, the Father. At ang sagot ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, uh, Pag ako'y nakita nyo, nakita nyo rin ang Diyos Ama. Ito po yung sinasabi niya dito. The exact imprint of His nature and He upholds the universe. Wow! By the word of His power. Yung word niya, ina-uphold ang universe. Imagine niyo yan, after making purification for sins, Nasaan ang Panginoong Heso Kristo ngayon? He sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Kaya kapatid, kahit anong balita ang marinig natin, ang mabasa natin sa mga newspaper or mapanood natin, uh, wag nating, kumbaga, yung ating pananampalataya dapat lalong maging matatag. This uh, last May, May balita na uh, there will be asteroid na tatama sa ating uh, sa planet Earth. At uh, syempre, this is causing trouble, this is causing fear, even sa mga sa body of Christ. So may mga misalignment. There are actually totoo naman, may mga, you know, uh, mysterious cosmic activities naman talaga ang nangyayari. Nasa Word of God din naman yan. Amen ba doon? So pagka uh, mauunahan tayo ng mga ganitong, you know, matatakot ka, di ba? Pag mauunahan tayo ng fear talaga naman, uh, doon tayo nakafocus. Wala doon sa Word of God, maapektuhan talaga ang ating pananampalataya. But knowing that God is sovereign even over any cosmic activity, no? Tayo mga anak ng Panginoon, tayo dapat ang unang-unang nagpapaabot ng magandang balita. Amen po ba yun? That when the Lord Jesus Christ is with us, tayo ay secured. Amen po ba yun? Sige, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Ganito ka sovereign ang Panginoon kahit sa mga cosmic activities. Sovereign siya. Walang balita, walang cosmic activity na pwedeng makapagpahinto sa mga anak ng Diyos, napurihin siya, sambahin siya, at kilalanin siya na makapangyarihan. Hallelujah. Amen po ba yun? At uh, alam niyo po, even the Lord Jesus Christ holds, di ba, lahat ng bagay, even yung mga kinauupuan nating mga upuan dyan. Even the chairs that you are sitting on, 
hindi yan basta you know, magigiba nang walang pahintulot ng Panginoon. Amen po ba yun? Hindi ka masasaktan kung walang pahintulot ng Panginoon. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng Jesus Christ hold, holds all things together. Wala siyang inaalaw na nangyayari sa buhay natin nang hindi niya nakikita na maganda din naman ang purpose nito. Kaya kapatid, let's continue to just entrust everything to the Lord. Again, going back to His Word in Colossians 1.17, ito yung magandang paalala sa atin na talagang, talaga ka naman lahat ng bagay. Pag nakasentro sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, wala tayong dapat ipag-alala. And He is before all things, and in Him, all things hold together. Kahit po inside our body, the Lord already imprinted in us a wonderful mystery ng kanyang mensahe ng kanyang pagmamahal, mensahe ng kanyang sovereignty, even inside our wonderful bodies. So this afternoon, I want you to watch this video for us to be reminded na ganun ka sovereign ang Panginoon. Even in our bodies, we can be amazed kung ano yung work ni Lord sa ating katawan. So can we play the video uh, please? Ever heard of laminin? Laminin is a protein found in the extracellular matrix. The sheets of protein that hold all internal organs, also called the basement membrane. Laminin is vital to making sure your overall body structures hold together. Laminin tells other cells what to do and is described as the rebar of the human body. Without laminin, your body would literally fall apart. Here is a scientific diagram of the cell adhesion molecule laminin, holding your body together right now. Laminin, the molecule that is holding you together right now, is in the perfect shape of the cross, the cross that Jesus gave up his life on for you. Here is an electron microscopic image of an actual laminin molecule. You are being held together right now as you sit and watch this by Jesus Christ. He put his stamp of approval on you. Wow. Sige po, purihin natin ang Panginoon. The stamp of approval in each and every one of us embedded inside our body. Kaya kapatid, approve ka kay Lord. Amen ba yun? <laughs> Pero yung sabihin sa katabi mo, approve ka kapatid sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Walang kulang sa'yo. Walang mali sa'yo. Amen po ba yun? May stamp of approval si Lord sa atin. At kung ikaw nagtatanong ngayong hapon, Lord, why am I here on earth? Ito po ay sinagot din ng Panginoon. Ito yung pinaalala din ni Apostle Pablo sa church. Diba? Sa mga tao sa Colossae na, 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 na di-discourage. So ano yung paalala sa ating lahat ngayon ding hapon related to us? That Jesus Christ created all things. Kasama po tayo doon. Amen po ba yun? I remember po yung aking bunsong anak. Sabi niya, Actually po, ang plano namin mag-asawa, I have four kids, we have four kids, kami ng aking asawa, talagang in our plan, tatlo na lang, sabi namin tatlo, on my third delivery ng aking anak, uh, I was uh, scheduled na po na magkaroon ng ano, uh, ilaligate na. Kung baga, close na yung you know, womb para hindi na uli magkaroon ng a fourth son. So that was our human plan. Pero po, uh, during ma the delivery of our third son, yung pong aking uh, wonderful husband, nakatulog lang naman sa room na yung magiging room ko after delivery. So nakatulog siya. In short, hindi niya po napirmahan ang waiver na ako ay uh, mag uh, magsastop na to you know, bear uh, children. Pero the Lord planned that another child will be born. 
So yung aming youngest na si Riley ay naipanganak muli. So ko grabe si Lord, no? We, uh, ang plano natin, tatlo na lang na anak, pero gusto niya pa, apat kami. Nung kinikwento ko yun sa anak niya, alam mo sabi, sa anak ko, ang sabi niya, uh, Nako, Daddy, thank you, ha, nakatulog ka. <laughs> Kung hindi, uh, wala pala ako dito ngayon. <laughs> so I need to tell him that kasi pag sa iba niya yun na narinig, baka sumama ang loob. But praise God, nakaano naman siya. Naka-recover siya dun sa thought na hindi na pala siya planong ipanganak sa aming plano. Pero plano pala ni Diyos ng Panginoong Heso Kristo na mapanganak pa rin siya. Amen po ba yun? Maybe may nangyari din sa buhay natin na parang feeling mo aksidente lang. Pero in this uh, encouragement ni Paul, di ba sabi dito, Jesus Christ created all things. Ito yung binasa natin kanina. Lahat ng bagay, siya ang may akda. Amen po ba yon? For by Him all things were created in heaven and on earth. Lahat ng nangyayari sa mundo, lahat ng nangyayari sa atin, I, uh, the Lord is allowing those things to happen dahil ito yung nakasulat eh. Ito yung uh, kasama sa journey natin. Sabi dito, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions. Kung kah- kahit sino ang maging presidente natin, inaalaw pala ni Lord dyan. Amen po ba yun? Kaya tayo mga Filipinos, kahit sino ang presidente kapatid, dapat suportahan natin sa panalangin. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Ito yung sinasabi ng word ni Lord. Whether thrones or dominions, maraming thrones that are against the idea that Christ is God. And yet, ito rin ay gagamitin ni Lord para tumibay ang pananampalataya natin. Amen po ba yun? Para tumibay ang ating pagkakaalam sa salita ng Panginoon. So whether the rulers or authorities, all things were created through Him and for Him. Dito nasasagot ang mga tanong ng mga tao dito sa mundo na bakit ba tayo naririto? Bakit tayo nabubuhay? Kapatid, may purpose si Lord. Meron kang special mission na gaganapin dito sa mundong ito. Amen po ba yon? At na-discover mo na ba yung uh, purpose mo? Na-discover mo na ba yung special mission mo sa buhay mo? Siya yung, so this is the supremacy of Jesus in our lives. Every detail of our lives alam ng Panginoon. Amen po ba yon? So hindi lang over creation, even over the church, Christ is supreme. Amen po ba yun? The supremacy of Christ over the church. So bakit ba tayo naandito? Bakit ba tayo uh, nag-iipon-ipon? Why? Because the Lord Jesus Christ is the head of our church. Siya yung head. Pag walang head, walang yung katawan, walang buhay. Amen po ba yun? The Lord Jesus Christ is the head of the church. He is our source. Through Him, pinapadaloy ng Diyos Ama ang supply. All we ever need for holiness. All that we ever need for joy. All that we ever need in this life. It is flowing through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's why the Lord Jesus is supreme over all the church. Amen po ba yun? Lalo na sa church natin na walang ibang sinasamba kundi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen po ba yun? Walang ibang dinadakila kundi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo in our midst. So ganito po ka-importante yung gathering natin. What else? Bakit ba uh, si Lord ay sovereign over our church? Because the glory of Christ being the first to rise from the dead. The resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ matters most. Kung hindi daw nabuhay muli ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, our faith is futile. Our journey is futile. Pero dahil nabuhay siya, walang ibang itinataas. Only through the religion of Christianity, tinataas natin, pinaniniwalaan natin 
that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Amen po ba yun? At tayo sa second coming ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, when He will come here on earth, sa second coming niya, nabuhay pa tayong lahat. Ano daw mangyayari sa atin? Ano yung mystery na describe when the Lord Jesus Christ will return again at lahat tayong mananampalataya ay buhay pa? We will be caught up in the air to be with the Lord. Pero sa pagdating niya na tayo ay uh, asleep already or we are in our tombs already, anong mangyayari sa atin? Sabi doon, and uh, those who are in their sleep will awake to Christ. Tayo ay gigising. Tayo ay babangon. We will also resurrect from the dead. Amen po ba yun? Kaya the Lord Jesus Christ is so happy to know that millions and millions and millions of people will be resurrected when He will come on earth. Amen po ba yan? Hindi ba kayo excited doon? Hallelujah. Pwede ba nang pan- palakpakan natin ang Panginoon dyan? And most importantly, bakit ang Panginoong Heso Kristo ay supreme over His church, over us, His body. Sabi dito, the glory of shedding His blood to make peace and reconciliation. So by the death of the Lord Jesus Christ, inawalang bisa niya yung mga accusations among His children. Through the shedding of the blood of Jesus, He covered every sin that we have in this lifetime. Whether past, present, and future sin, kinover na ng Panginoon, kapatid. Ganito ka-amazing ang covering, the shedding of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen po ba yun? Kaya nga naman po ang church natin, uh, ito po yung desire natin to really share the word of the Lord sa kaduluduluhan ng Pilipinas, sa poorest of the poor, sa farthest in the Philippines. Ito po yung ating uh, desire to share the love of Jesus sa buong Pilipinas. At I remember po, no, uh, sa mga mission na ginagawa po namin, ang inyong pastora ay nag-oversee ng missions arm of the church. We go to the different parts of the Philippines to share the love of Jesus. At uh, kahit yung sa Mindanao na risky, di ba? inaabot po natin sila. At pag pumupunta po tayo doon, ang mga tao doon share sa amin na buti pa kayo mga taga Manila, you will take your time to reach out to us here in Mindanao. Pero yung mga kasama naman dito sa Mindanao, hindi namin sila nakikita that they would reach out to us yung mga nasa kabundukan po ng Mindanao. And I remember one day, uh, nasa mission po kami. Ayan, uh, when we go to missions po, we conduct medical and dental missions. We gather people and we, you know, uh, share the love of Jesus to them through the vehicle of uh, medical and dental missions. And one day, uh, sa isa sa mga communities po na ni-reach out namin sa Mindanao, may isang youth na nagpabunot ng ngipin na he concealed, tinago niya yung mga totoong information about her. So, pag di, kasi bago ka bunutan ng ngipin, tatanungin ka, uh, ikaw ba ay nakapag, uh, nakakain ka ba? Full breakfast? Ganon. So, marahi pong chinechekan doon sa may checklist po kasi yon Then, uh, only to find out na may mga na-conceal pala siyang information, mga importanteng uh, bagay na hindi niya po sinabi. So, nabunutan siya ng ngipin. After niya mabunutan ng ngipin, Wow, nagulat kami unti-unti po parang hinimatay siya. Unti-unti nakita namin na talagang bumababa yung BP niya. At to the point, nagkaroon na ng commotion dun sa missions uh, area. At ako bilang team leader, ang naging uh, instinct agad, uh, mag-pray tayo, uh, nilagyan ng uh, you know, kurtina na na-enclose agad para hindi nila nakikita yung commotion kasi nagpapanik na yung magulang. Then uh, we just prayed, sabi ko, 
to pray kayo dyan. Kami dito, kasama ko po si Doc Joma, isa sa mga uh, doktor po natin dito sa church at uh, volunteer. Uh, isa uh, neurosurgeon na po siya ngayon. At uh, nakita ko po yung itsura ni Doc Joma bilang doktor na parang wala na pa flatline na po yung pasyente. At sabi ko, Lord, 20 na lang nakita namin sa gauge eh. Kung baga, alam mo yung BP na 20, parang pa ano na talaga, pawala na. Pero sabi ko, Lord, I really ask the Lord, say ko, Lord, your name is at stake here in Mindanao. Lord, your name is at, is at stake kung etong pasyente na to mamamatay. Lord, will you please hear our prayers, God? Walang mangyari sa pasyente na to. Lord, you are sovereign over this incident na meron kami ngayon. At yung BP po na 20 as we were praying talagang ang taas ang aming, you know, si Dok Joma ako, nagpi-prayer in Tangs na kami in our heavenly language. At uh, indeed po, ang Panginoon ay sovereign. Unti-unti tumaas ang BP ng youth. Tumaas from 20, naging 50, naging 70, naging 80, naging 90 at nabuhay muli. Praise the Lord. Sabi ko, Lord, thank you for showing us that indeed, you are sovereign kahit anong sitwasyon as long as we will entrust it to the Lord. As long as we will acknowledge Him as supreme, sovereign over all things, kapatid. witness mo din ang mga miracles na hinahangad mo, na pinagpipray mo in your family, in your community, in our church, and even in our nation. Amen po ba yun? Hallelujah. Kaya nga naman po, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, sabi niya sa mga salita niya, ito yung pinaka-reason why we also would take risk to share the gospel to the farthest, to the poorest, because the Lord in His Word, and uh, we will end in this verse, sabi po dito, so that, ito po yung pinaka-reason why the Lord Jesus came on earth. Gusto ng Panginoon, walang maiiwan. Amen po ba yun? Gusto ng Panginoon, kapatid, until He will come, magkakasama tayong mag-worship. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, purihin natin ang Panginoon. And I pray, hindi po tayo titigil dyan. Hindi tayo mauupo lang dito pag Sunday, makikinig ng salita ng Panginoon. And after that, okay na kami, Lord. The word of the Lord says here, So that, at the name of Jesus, Sabi dito, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen po ba yun? Hallelujah. This is the desire of God over all His creation. Kapatid, kamusta tayo? Do we include other people in our prayers? Kamusta yung mga unsaved loved ones natin? Are we diligent enough to pray to the sovereignty of the Lord Jesus that He, kaya niya, kapatid, kaya niyang dalhin lahat ng mga kamag-anak natin as long as we are willing to do that. We are willing to pray. We are willing to stand up for our families. Amen po ba yun? Hallelujah. Sige po, palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, God. At gayong hapon na to, we have this opportunity to again lift up the name of Jesus in our midst. We have this opportunity na muli itaas natin ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon sa ating mga pamilya. Kaya ngayong hapon, pwede ko bang imbitahan ang lahat tumayo? And as we stand and as we sing for the Lord, pwede mo bang sabihin, Panginoon, gusto ko pang mas malalim 
ang pagkakakilala ko sa iyo, Panginoon. I want your, your supremacy of the Lord Jesus Christ will be evident, will be preeminent in my life and in my family. And this afternoon, as we sing to the Lord, pwede ba nating itaas ang ating mga kamay na yan? Can we just allow the Lord to move in our midst, to touch each soul today for His glory's sake? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
Hallelujah. Indeed, your name is holy. Indeed, your name, Jesus, is victory. Indeed, you, indeed your name, Jesus, is sovereign, O oh God, over our lives, O oh God. And Father, this afternoon, O oh God, we just would like, O oh God, to lift up our hands to you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace that is flowing here. Thank you for your mercy, oh God. And as we lift up our hands, church, pwede bang sundan ang maikling panalangin na ito? Diyos amang nasa langit. Diyos amang nasa langit. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Sa pagmamahal mo. Sa pagmamahal mo. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Sa buhay, sa buhay na meron kami, na meron kami sa aming Panginoon, sa aming Panginoon, Heso Kristo. Heso Kristo. Umpisa sa araw na ito, umpisa sa araw na ito, muli kaming mabubuhay, muli kaming mabubuhay na may pag-asa, na may pag-asa, na may liwanag, na may liwanag declaring, declaring the supremacy, the supremacy of Jesus, of Jesus in, our lives, in our lives, in our families, in our families. And over, and over all things. All things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. We honor you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. And before we leave the sanctuary of God, pwede ba natin itaas po ang ating mga tithes and offerings? Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for another opportunity, O God, to give honor to your name. Lord, use these resources, O God, so that we will bring more people to your kingdom, O God. From the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, be connected to you, Jesus, all souls for you alone, Jesus Christ. And Lord, bless every family represented here, O God. Lalabas kami sa lugar na to na daladala namin ang pagpapala mo, Panginoon. Daladala namin, Lord, yung anointing na nanggagaling sa iyo, O God. Provisions, protection be upon your children. Thank you, God. And this all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. No matter what we are going through in life, Jesus is supreme and He is in control. Kaya patuloy tayo magtiwala even though the challenges that we face seem unbearable. And kung gusto mo pang mas pag-usapan ang preaching today, we encourage you to send us a message so that we can talk about that. And we would also love to connect you to our COG fam. That's right! Don't let this Sunday end without you being connected to our COG fam. Just send us a direct message or comment connect to find your own C2S group today. And if you need prayer and counseling, type prayer so we can connect you to our counselors as well. And to remain faithful in giving your tithes and offering, you may visit cogdasma.com give to know the ways you can give online. At salamat po muli sa pagsama sa amin this Sunday. And we hope you carry God's word with you and His grace wherever you go this week. This is Rachel. God bless you, COG fam. See you next Sunday! We will gather as one man. It's time to dream again. We are going further. Takbo sila doon. Tapos lipat sila doon. Oo. Ano ginawa mo? Ang natakot ko. Oh, very good attitude noon. Asa ka nung bagyo, yung bumagyo? Nandito, nandito. Sa bagyo.
Sa bahay na buwan. Ano gusto mo maging paglaki mo, John Roy? Ano? Police! Police! Angel! Angel! Si Angelica kanina yung unang-una. Tapos ito, Angelica. Angelica. Stand up momentarily to do a safety related procedure. Please remain seated. Today, uh, we're so blessed po kasi uh, full force po talaga yung national na dito po sila. Pinuntahan po talaga kami ni Dr. Anthony Velasco, ng regional, regional overseer nami. at saka yung lahat ng team ng men's ministry po nandito. Masarap po ang uh, maglingkod sa ating Panginoon. Lalong-lalo na po pagka katulad po ng ganito na ginagawa nating mission, eventually na-inspire po tayo na lalo pang maglingkod. Lalo pa tayong umabot sa ating mga kapatid na nangangailangan ng mga tulong. Kaya I encourage everyone na 
sumuport po tayo dito. And uh, eventually, makikita nyo po yung pagbabago sa inyong buhay kapag tayo po ay tumutulong sa mga nangangailangan. In one, two... Nilaunch po yung Adapt Student Program. Uh, marami kong natulungan ng mga bata. Bless po talaga. Ma'am, salamat ma'am. Kaya ni Gadawa ko school supplies. Thank you ma'am. Nagitagaan ko ni mo ang school supplies. Ma'am, thank you ma'am. Nagitagaan ni school supplies ni We have just done a mission here in Olango. And what a joy to be boots on the ground once again. And uh, this is what we're going to do as long as there is uh, a Filipino left in poverty. I pray the Church of God and Weiji as its mission arm we continue doing this until the Lord comes. May the Lord God bless you.